Tata Motors. So in intraday level, uh, Tata Motors is st still bearish. So it has taken support near the uh, S1, which is 430. Now going to higher time frame. On higher time frame, it is above central pivot point and uh, below R1, which is bullish zone. But no clear picture here. This uh, gap only is telling something. So that uh, this can act as a strong resistance in the immediate future. If you see uh, this area from where there was a gap, uh, rarely this was a strong resistance zone. I'm going to higher time frame. On higher time frame, we discussed in our previous class also, there is a bearish divergence in our data motors. And uh, here we have discussed that uh, there was a bearish divergence in Tata Motors. Again, it tried to form a bullish pattern and today it is forming again a bearish pattern. So today's uh, close would uh, tell us a picture like uh, if bearishness is kind of going to continue in Tata Motors or not. But if you see, this is uh, trying to move in a range. So this range is very important for Tata Motors now. So above this, bullishness can be expected and uh, below this bearishness can be expected so uh, we cannot uh, give any levels for tata motors as of now because the picture is not clear. Only thing is, uh, based on this bearish RSA divergence, we are bearish on daily time frame, and even on uh, intraday time frame also, it is trading below the central pivot point, and uh, it has taken a support near S1. So this zone is very important. Below this, Tata Motors is bearish, and uh, above central pivot point also, we have an immediate resistance zone here. So this was uh, the second time, price already halted there for the first time here yeah. and again it came, uh, came, came to the same previous level and uh, if we consider this as a double top formation, this will be our neckline. So if Tata Motors breaks this neckline that is 428, so a huge bearishness is ex expected in uh, Tata Motors then. So this is the range for uh, Tata Motors now in intraday or in uh, 15 minutes chart. So this is a double top formation and this will be the neckline for Tata Motors. So strong support zone near 430. So this was the story of uh, Tata Motors.
that's it uh, for today thanks for joining in